That's a supply drop. We cannot lose that. We cannot lose that. If you see that, go for it. Go for it, because it's gonna drop a, um... It's gonna... <laughs> it's gonna drop a, um... A supply tray. It's a... A, leather, a supply crate. And you should be able to see it fall from the actual plane. Now, the question is, if it's already disappeared... If the plane is gone, which I think it is... Okay, I don't see anything right here. So that means... That it has already dropped the payload. I should have taken my binoculars and looked. Ah, it was too slow. I didn't see if it had already dropped its payload or not. That's annoying. It could have. There's also a probability that it has not. I'm gonna keep going for it and see if I can find something. Wait, there it is! I can see it, I can see it! <laughs> right there, to the left of the chopper's body right to the right on top of the chopper's foot to the left is the supply um supply crate we're getting closer to it so this is good this is amazing an amazing find <laughs> whoo i just heard a plane looked up and it was that wait i think it dropped behind that like um that hill over there all right we're going for it. Let's see what we get from it. This can be really, really good. Um, hopefully I have plenty of story to this chopper. This is gonna be good. Alright, let's see. Also, let's hope it lands somewhere safe. <laughs> that is really cool, so do keep your ears out for that. Um, if you all of a sudden hear a plane, then it's gonna be that. So that's really, really cool. There it is. You can see the red smoke from it right there uh, in the middle of the trees as well all right I should be able to okay I should be able to land there hopefully let's land okay hopefully I won't blow this chopper up in the process straighten it out straighten it out go forward a bit go forward don't hit that tree And don't hit the box itself. <laughs> and we should be good. Oh dear. Ah. Okay. But here it is. Here it is. Let's take a look. Whoa. Okay. Alright. That, that's a lot. Um, okay. Let me get some stuff out of my inventory. We got, we got some guns. Uh, why have I not... Oh dear. I'm thirsty. Uh, canteen. Drink. Alright, let's get rid of this stuff. Alright. This is really, really cool. So yeah, do keep your ears out for that. Let's see what we got. Um, we got two Eagle Fires. That's cool. Military guns. Military magazine. Three of them, plus the guns already have some in them. Let's see what else we got. We got a calling card, which uses Ranger ammunition, I'm pretty sure. We got a 1911. We got a Yuri magazine, and then we got 1911 magazines, five of them. And then we have a Timberwolf. I believe that is, it is purple, so that is a legendary ranged weapon. Has the Timberwolf magazine, Canadian sniper rifle chambered in Timberwolf ammunition, which is actually, I think, gonna be not even military, the ammunition from the military, um ammunition crate. It's gonna be ammunition from high-caliber military ammunition, actually, which we don't have, which is interesting. Uh, let me make some room, maybe. Uh, yeah, this is really cool. This was a really cool discovery in the middle of everything. <laughs> in the middle of building. That's cool, though. That's really cool. Can I fit that? Yes, I can. Perfect. I don't remember how long these will stick around. I'm pretty sure that after a bit, this crate will just disappear and the stuff inside it will fall to the ground and which is also gonna despawn eventually, either eventually or when you leave the world. I'm not sure about um, all those numbers, but if you see a plane, take some binoculars, look at it. If it has not dropped the payload, well, get after it, get going. <laughs> I'm not, sh I should have looked, um, but I'm not sure how it looks when it has dropped the payload 
and when it has not dropped the payload. I'm not entirely sure about that. I'm pretty sure if it has dropped it, its um, bay behind the plane will be open and there won't be anything visible inside it, I think. But I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, it burned a lot of fuel. Oh, it burned a lot of fuel, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, hopefully we should be able to make it back safe and sound. We might stop by. Tilt to the right. Okay. Whew. Let's go straight up from here. The sun is going down. I do want this project done quickly. So let's head back and, well, we got our headlamp so we can work in the night. So that's good. Anyways, that was really cool. Let us head back this way and I'll meet you back home. Stay tuned. I think the safest thing for me will have to be to stop by Hamburg right here and refuel because I'm at 21%. And yeah, I don't really want to risk it. I could potentially make it to Berlin, but I'm already at 19. Oh, wait a second. That's, that's a tricky landing. That's a very tricky landing with a stupid tree in the way. Trees are not stupid, but right now that tree is in my way. Uh, that roof is tilted. Oh dear. Mm. I feel like this is gonna go wrong. Nope. 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 Fail. 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 No. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Don't you start chopping again. Don't you start chopping at my chopper. Yeah. Come get it. You too. Ah oh, man. Uh, where is the nearest shore? I'll need to, um... Ah, this went from great to bad, and I don't have any food on me either. Uh, um, okay. I'm gonna refuel it. Oh, air too. I'm gonna refuel it, and do I have my... Yes, I do have the car jack on me. Um, thankfully it did not blow up. So I'm gonna use the car jacket a bit, and then we're gonna car jacket over to the shore. But let me refuel it first. All right, I did find some food, which I'm gonna eat right now, and hopefully this will last till we get back home. Hopefully the little the, the, the lettuce will also provide a little bit. Uh, let's check this one too. Uh, I see chemicals though. So that's a good thing. Smack. I'm gonna take the flares, because I was looking for those earlier. Might as well... got some food here. Yeah, and also... Gotta look out for my breath. Because otherwise I'm gonna die, and then... I'm gonna try... And... <laughs> God, check the helicopter. Plus it's getting night time, so... Yeah. Alright. Let's attempt to car jack this thing, and hopefully it doesn't blow up, because I've forgotten something. Left click, and you kind of just gotta keep doing it and then get under it and then it's gonna flip and I th don't think it should blow up as long as it's not turned on. Uh, unless it takes damage, of course, from hitting a tree. This could prove to be tricky, but uh, I'm gonna keep trying my best to get it to shore. And yeah, sometimes they fly quite Quite, quite a lot, as you can see. Eh. I think I need to get under it. The trick is trying to like get kind of under it, and then like push it up like so, and then do it again, and yeah. Eh. And then eh. Oh no. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can do it. I don't have my diving gear with me. Oh, this is bad. We're in a very tough spot right here because I do not have my scuba gear with me. And this is very steep. Eh. Get up. Get up. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> okay. This is very steep and very difficult to do. But we're close though. We're close to the shore. Uh, this went from great to bad. Extremely bad. <sighs> okay. Thought I was gonna... <laughs> not die, but start losing health pretty rapidly. This is actually 
extremely difficult. All right? It's extremely difficult. I'm gonna be back once I have some progress. And of course, it's a full moon. Why not? Hopefully they won't come for me. <sighs> I'm almost there. So close. Okay. I did it. <laughs> okay. Let's get... Now, don't go back in the water, please. Okay. Whew. All that fuss of fuel. Alright. We're back up and running. Fully fueled. Okay. Going back to base. Whew. Alright, there is home. Now I just gotta land somewhere. Hey, at least the trees are grown back. <laughs> so that's at least a plus. Unfortunately, we do have to now work in the dark. Which is not that great. But hey. Oh dear. I got completely lost out of control. Let me land this thing. And land it. Okay. Let me get inside. Empty inventory. Maybe even wait for daytime. And uh... We'll continue. Because <laughs> I, I want daylight. Even though this is very... Although, maybe this works. And I want daylight. I might wait. I might wait. Let us, though, first... Uh, yeah, let me finish my inventory and wait for daytime and stuff. And I'll be back. Alright, I have been organized. And uh, it is now morning. <laughs> now I just gotta get some water and we will... Well, continue the time lapse, I suppose. Because that is kind of where we left off. I just want to install these windows here to be able to get some light in. Uh, can I? Eh, eh. No. Can I then take this? Yeah, I'm going to continue the time lapse. Uh, it's probably going to be easier. And also, what I will just be able to do, I will not need any more pillars. I will just need a bunch of roofs and then just keep adding them just like that. Um, tagging them to each other. Or making sure that they... Uh, go against each other like here like so and just like that boom uh, so I'm gonna do that gonna gather the rest of the trees and we'll take a look at uh, making these stores garage stores here and the slow the the the, the, the thing here <laughs> and then we should be done so let me do that and I'll be right back time lapse starting Alrighty, so I've done most of the work here and we're almost done. Now I just want to use the flares up here if I can. Oh, it takes two. Ah, okay, so that is something important to note. Um, it takes two normal flares to make a wall flare. So unfortunately, I cannot make more of those. Uh, I can only make one and purple, but we're gonna make it and we're got, just gonna place it just because we can. I'm gonna put it right here, just for the fun of it. And you can actually see that uh, in the dark. So that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I can't make more of those, but I'll look out for flares in the future. The thing I might also do actually is just to expand the house 
one more over then I can fit some more storage and stuff like that in there so I'm maybe gonna do that off camera um, but anyways moving down here now we want the garage doors or actually let me first look at what it is we need to get these things up and running all right I believe it is this right here pine ramp though I don't think we're gonna stick with it um, but that is basically automatically a ramp though I cannot seem to get this thing to fit right and it does just not wanna do it oh I can right click again then turn it and then if I place it as you can see we get this um, this here but I don't think I feel like that is a little bit too sharp um, if we try it over here right click turns it around so like so I just feel like that is maybe a little bit too sharp we could live with it all right, we could live with it and for simplicity's sake let's just try and drive this thing in just to see how it would be if we needed to drive it in there all right so calm down with the speed there buddy yeah it's doable if I didn't hit the actually no it's not it's actually not <laughs> it is too steep all right yeah, I did feel like that is a little bit too steep. It is doable if we have enough speed, but yeah, I feel like that is a bit too steep. So what we can then do is we go into crafting, we can go into here, and large pine plate. Um, that is actually not that big. Hmm. But what we can do with this is, the cool thing is we can freeform it. So I can go here. And I can just hold down right click and I can basically make my own curve like so. Uh, it might be a bit tricky, but I can make it a lot more flat like so. So maybe if I put it like that as a comparison, that looks ugly because I did not put it in precisely. But that is something you can do. Um, I'm not sure which thing I'm going to use here because eh, if I hold down, I believe it's control then. Okay. So if you hold control, it gets a lot more aligned, I would say automatically. Uh, if we place it like, eh, yeah, as you can see, it is kind of complicated. And my control is with my crouch and stuff like that. And yeah, and yeah. I mean that that one's okay, but then it's not. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with these right here, with this, um, just to make it simpler. You can use those plates if you wish to do so, um, but those I'm using is the pine ramps, the fixed ones. Um, but again, you can go ahead and use the large plate if you wish I'm gonna use the ramps because they're already there and sure oh, whoops sure we did not get in easily we got stuck at the first time but hey it it did work so I mean it's fine we just need some more speed like so I feel like that's doable let's try that again shall we try and reverse out of here how about driving out how is it gonna be then uh, eh. and eh. we try this one over here just gonna drive out slowly and boom and we're out and off and if we were to drive back in let's say the middle one we're just gonna test it real quick I'm sorry if this episode is getting a little bit long and Again, it might pick up some speed here off ground and yeah it, it, it's not perfect all right it's not perfect I will agree it is definitely not perfect but it will have to do for now again you can use the ramps I was sure that there was another way of doing it but I guess there is not um, no there's not not to my knowledge anyways what we will need is I believe it is not gate. Well, we'll need those in a bit, but we'll also need garage freight. This one. 
this one right here because that's gonna fit into a wall this is just a frame you can place anywhere we want this uh, there it is and we want to place it in just like so just like a normal door frame I need some more wood and just like so now what we want is to make some actual uh, garage doors and for that we're gonna need some metal and we're gonna need a bunch of planks so I'm gonna take one two three four five six that's for three garage doors and I'm gonna need some planks uh, plank <laughs> and make a bunch of those and then gate and this is the one that we need um, you can also make a metal gate that is kind of like the metal door again can only be accessed by you and your group so that is really cool and of course it's also stronger um, yeah, I believe it's stronger than the pine gate so that's cool but we're gonna just use the pine, pine gate for this one I'm gonna need to make two of those and I'm gonna need some more planks and, uh -huh, uh -huh, and gate and by the way wait what there we go <laughs> and gate there we go uh by the way there is one thing that i did not mention about the iron or the metal door and i believe i might need to make a few metal bars to show you this should do it and that is the vault door and it is kind of like the, the the metal door but the vault door would then be stronger um, against attacks basically so now we know that too but anyways now we got the pine gate and as you can see it, I think we want it this way yeah so it opens in like that so where it goes outwards is where it yeah goes down towards I guess uh, yeah so right there that is our garage right there that was that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool now I just need to put some uh, glass in those windows right here and right there and well now we have a functional garage so now when I wanna get out I just reverse it like so boop and I go in and close the door close close there we go and then I can drive off and yeah that's pretty cool and I'm gonna be happy with this because we will be oh dear we will be using um, this garage later in the future and by the way I f think this is like a bug thing it feels like it when you drive off um, off-road it feels like the speed goes up way too fast I don't know if it's a bug or not but uh yeah you could of course turn the garage door around if you wish it just kind of looks weird but I guess I don't know you could do it as you want I'm gonna put it the other way around like so but yeah that's gonna be it for this episode but of course we need to try and land the helicopter <laughs> This episode is probably gonna end with an explosion. Let's hope not. No, it's not. It's not gonna. All right. We're gonna get it up, and we're gonna land it. See, that is gonna be a lot easier to land on. I say that, and yet I'm terrified right now. Nope, it's gonna be good. I think. Eh, a little bit off. Takes practice, and I'm gonna put more flares around here as well. But yeah, I think that's going to be it. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed and learned and all that good stuff. If you have any suggestions or anything like that, be sure to leave it down in the comments below. In the next episode, we will be covering farming and also something to do with water. Um, because I have an issue with that. So we need to get that done. But anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and good bye. The base is coming along nicely. Za uwe fru ik ni maya, nifta vanting ni kunting nari,